friends, welcome back. My name is Vicki Lynn, so glad to have you. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please don't forget to hit that little subscribe button and scooch on over and hit that bell icon. And if you are one of my loyal subscribers, I am so appreciative that you guys are back again to watch me with another meal prep. We are going to start this meal prep as we always do with getting what we need going the soonest. And that would be, I am doing some russet potatoes in the Instant Pot. Surprise, surprise. I'm thinking I'm going to do like a 50-50 plate challenge this week, just to try to keep things super simple and easy for me. So, going to get the potatoes going. Again, I'm doing mine in the Instant Pot. I like having them pre-cooked. That way I can fry them up in the air fryer. Again, I cook with no oil if you're new here. Um, and I follow a plant-based diet, and I'm vegan, so sometimes I do have treats here and there that aren't considered plant-based or maybe have a little bit of oil here and there, but I'm just keeping it realistic and keeping it real for you. So, not gonna hide behind anything. I don't label myself. I'm just trying to eat healthy, lose some weight, lower my cholesterol, and move my body every day. So, Stick with me and come on this journey with me. If you're struggling to lose weight also, let's do this together. I have a free ebook that's available on my website. I'll leave the link down below. Just request it. It's absolutely free and you'll get how to shop, how to plan your meals, and some of my favorite oil-free meals on the starch solution. <clears throat> so we're gonna start our potatoes and I'm just going to cook them for about 12 minutes. That should be more than enough time. So we're gonna let that go. We're all set to go. I have my new handy dandy salad spinner that I just bought. There we go. And I absolutely love this. And I will actually link that down below. I am an Amazon affiliate. I think everybody probably is anyway. If you struggle with, if you need a new salad spinner, um, this is this is the one to get. It comes with a lid. Um, you can make your salad right in there. It's it's wonderful. And I don't think I have to worry about this one breaking. The last one had a pull string, and yep, pulled it. And <laughs> anyway, anyway. So first thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll wash my lettuce. I like to use two different types of lettuce for my large salad. So I just want to get that soaking. Now, I would like to know what kind of, because I think, I know I'm getting into a little bit of a rut of just making the same salad over and over again, um, just because it seems to be easier to keep in the fridge and whatever. So leave me some comments down below and let me know what your favorite salad is, what maybe lasts long, quite a while in the fridge, something that's going to change. I know I haven't had kale in a long time. I think I just felt like I had kale so often in my videos that I just, again, if you've been watching, and I do have a ton of playlists, guys, for meal preps, etc. Um, if you've been watching, you know I am very much a creature of habit. So when I kind of find something that's easy and to do and I like it, then I kind of just stick to it. And um, that's why I do this challenge chat. That's why I do this channel because I want to get myself out of that and come up with new and more exciting videos for everybody and new meals. The first part of this meal prep is going to be my basics on what I do. The next thing I'm going to do is get a pot and a couple of potatoes and a carrot and I'm going to make my cheese sauce. Super simple, super easy. So again, for my cheese sauce, you're just gonna need one carrot. These are actually organic, so I'm just gonna take the top and the bottom off and put that in my soup stock in the freezer. And then I'm just gonna cut up the carrot just into chunks because we're just gonna cook it. The carrot, you could use carrot, you could use some sweet potato, you could use some butternut squash, um, kind of anything that's orange and a little bit sweet, I guess. And this is going to give part of the color to our vegan cheese sauce or plant-based cheese sauce. Now, there's two ways to make this sauce. I believe my original recipe, which is over two years ago, um, I add cashews to it. And you could add cashews, don't add cashews. 
totally up to you, whatever your preference is. It, it doesn't matter. The cashews give it a, just a little bit of a more richer, deep flavor to it. And you know what? I have a ton of cashews. Maybe I will just add about a quarter of a cup of cashews to this. Because I haven't done the cashew one in a long time. But you can mix up this recipe. Um, I also sometimes add lactic acid to mine now. Um, mustard is another one that you can add a little mustard to this. It'll give you a great little flavor boost to it. Give it that little tangy flavor like cheese. Um, I also like to add miso paste, but I know I'm out of it right now. You could add bell peppers to it, make it more like a queso. There's so many different ways of morphing this recipe. And this is just the basic recipe that I think every vegan starts with. Um, so I'm just going to cut up my potatoes. That way they'll just cook a little bit faster. We're just going to add water to this, bring it to a boil, let it, let it cook until everything is fork tender. And then we're just going to blend it all up with our spices in the um, Vitamix. Next, I have our bunch of radishes. I am just going to tip the tops and the bottoms and wash them up. And again, if your radish tops are good and healthy, you can use them. Um, I don't particularly like them, but I know you can use them. You could cook them if you really didn't want to waste any of it. So again, just going to take off the tops and the bottoms and give these a wash up. So we're going to continue with our salad using my nifty difty new salad spinner. Again, I really like this. It actually, the lid clips on. You have the kids do it for you because it's just a twirling motion. You don't have to worry about string breaking. And it really gets a lot out. And now you could do your salad in that bowl, drain it, put your salad. Again, you know I make a big one, so I'm just going to use this long, flat one. That way, all the ingredients that are in it are evenly dispersed. I know. I know, I'm interesting. I know, I want it all perfect, but... All right, so we're going to use some of our mixed greens, and I like just to toss it into this before I start layering all the things on it. Now the one thing I did forget to buy was some more beets. I have one beet left, which I'll cook in my Instant Pot once I take the potatoes out. My potatoes have cooked, I've turned them off. And fun fact, don't forget to put the water in your Instant Pot. Now you know I say that in almost every video. Today I didn't say it and I forgot to put the water in. So I had to open it up and put the water in. Anyway. That's what happens. Things like that happen. We're all good to go. So we're, I'm just going to top this with a few different things. I have our radishes all clean, so I'm definitely going to put radishes on top. Move that out of the way. And again, I'm just going to cut up a few vegetables. And while we are talking, I'm actually making my cold brew coffee. I'm just draining it, so I'll add that video up there for you if you ever want to learn how to make your own cold brew coffee. Super easy, very inexpensive, and you really don't need a lot of any special equipment or anything. So what are some of the basic toppings that you like in your salad? We always seem to have cucumbers, tomatoes, um, a carnivorous of some sort, whether it be broccoli, cauliflower. I'm going to use the red cabbage again because I love the crunch. I love the way it looks because it just adds so much. I do try to have something with each color of the rainbow, or at least give or take. So for red, we're going to do our radishes. I'm also going to do some of the peppers. I sometimes like to add fruit and I do like to add nuts, but I do that once I serve it. Whether I chop up some apple or segmented oranges, something like that. 
And I do like to mix it up with different nuts and seeds. I do like my pumpkin seeds. If you've been here, you know I put them almost every morning on my oatmeal. Okay, and I have a couple of the button mushrooms left over that I'm going to um, wash up and slice those for the salad. You can keep your stems and put those in your soup stock that's in the freezer. That always. And I'm still trying to think of what meals I want to make. So I'm not sure if I'm just going to do components this week. I do have a lot of frozen vegetables. So again, for my 50-50 plates, that does make it super simple. And you know, your meal preps do not have to be complicated or um, time consuming. Even if you do a little bit here and there, that all adds up. And I just like to have components and stuff that are ready to go. If I'm hungry, I can have something to eat. And then if I want to make a meal um, and take, you know, 20 minutes or a half hour, then I have time to do that also. So how do you like to meal prep? There's a great question because I am going to do other meal preps. Um, do you like having all your meals set out? So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and this is exactly what you're having and the, you're putting them in the certain containers. Or do you like having dishes done and then just scooping them from whichever pot or container? Or do you like to have just components done so you can mix and match? Um, and I think that goes a lot with personalities too. So let me know what your favorite is. I'd love to hear it. Hit me up down below. And now I'm just going to add in some of this red cabbage. I always call it purple cabbage because to me it looks purple. I always call it purple cabbage. And then we're just going to shave this. And so with your carnivorous vegetables, you want to make them more bite-sized, more chewable, because these will be chewier, so you don't have to chew them longer to masticate them in your mouth and stuff, and help the digestion process. Okay. And I think for now, I'm going to, I'm uh, probably going to do some peppers. Who am I kidding? Let's just do the peppers while I'm here. What do I need? I need yellow. I have a little bit of red. I have purple. I'm going to just do the yellow one. All right, some yellow peppers. Haven't had that on our salad for a while, so that's a good change. I think we're good. I am going to cut the rest of this up just so I have it for um, snacking on. So here's part of our meal prep. We have our potatoes prepped and cooked. We have our big salad. We've cleaned up our radishes so far. I've done some carrots and celery for snacking. And then we have our delicious cheese sauce. 